Hi, uh, my name is Julie Jostin, and I'll be reading from my book, Not. I'll be reading one poem, and it's called Of Ground or Air or Ought. Of Ground or Air or Ought. Listening to a conversation about how dancers bring intelligence to the body, I started wondering about perceiving the body as intelligence. Writing to you now feels like stretching. You taught me the thorny paths of my thought, the slowness of pollen, of inherited styles of being, the necessity of abdicating to a night-filled stammer, a silent surround pressing against fact. I write to you, yous, loves, beloveds, enormously here where comfort is a ghost, an intimation of the lapsed iris that regarded meaning as dark, loving precarity. Violence, I learned, is also atmospheric, and evidence resembles arousing another language. Uprooted yous, you and the river you walked along, a curve ripped from a fingernail, the salt at your lips praising the wind in your eyelashes, and you who traced in the breadth of a thread an embrace beyond the water of your hem, and you and the angle of sunlight on your throat as you tipped your head back and laughed, and you and the magnolia against the roof that gentled you to sleep and the sea of your breathing as you overheard your mother's stories, and you and in your eyes the sky, that swift revolving prismatic imperative with a beauty spot starling at rest on the wind by decree and the names of your children, born and unborn, and the seashells of their ears, collecting your voice and the weather. This is an epistle to you, hallowed and gutsy beloveds, who taught and teach me words. I'm learning the rhythm of this rite as I'm learning this deepened half-flight, stepping over, compressing time, rattling my understanding of duration, Seasonal times experienced all at once or in rapid succession under shifting gun clouds, gunmetal graying vision. The signature of a loved ray of light scatters along a string. An anxious gaze fixed on oblivion, sea, water, tears, sweat, blood, slipping words in your languages before I say mine here in this one. Cloud pressure curves the body into a question, hurting. Muscles clench. The psoas presses against the unknown. The disoriented night leaves the sky breathing fragments. Long forgotten gills flex in my neck. Remember something intelligent, autonomous. Remember my flailing at being human and animal and element. It is necessary to redefine love's modes of being. We found a recess in the will to encourage the will to silence. A little girl swept up in the street among anachronistic soot and the intermingling of her t-shirt and thighs and the waves pounding a mattress abandoned on the beach. So we wrote huge letters, electric sensations, my mom's apron ironed stiff as nothing. The shadows set our words stinging in an inevitable backhand, the stung of it a hand, drawing us in, our heads in the midst of music too loud and existing, drawing us closer to the verb to be. This is the clarion song of girls epicking. I see you singing beneath a moon as dark and silent as the sun, for surely damaged, sugared, breaking beyond judgment, maneuvering these strange sensations, we might have talked about fear. We might have again, again and again and again. A combination rubbed into air, that oneness, two-ness the liver recalls as a longed-for relief from wanting. Veins think grief deadly, but I describe it in the style of a thirsted lament. This is a ballad of despised women. We sing a ballad of despised women. The sky is everywhere. 
is gone, an indigo education uncovering the belly, a monument to coffins, to windows, and this document of foregrounded bones. Faithfulness can hardly offer up my life without yourselves and glory, rakishly spreading light in a moth's bedchamber. The moth's rapt shimmer asked me to keep barely visible among the lush season's humid heredity, its depth growling ancestral obscurity, shadows landscaping the weather, trilling the moon whose incursion is void filiation. My womb remains thought, current, breeze under apple trees. My womb remains the temperature for breathing with the tide. Again. Girls and women remind the night what love forms, beloveds, flesh, the pressure of life pulsing through what we lack words for. The DNA of your care moving over your tongue is an offering. Your genes shaping what we call my eyes, ears, mouth, nose, skin, soul, love, heart, thought. I feel used in realms beyond reason where linear time was never sovereign and our love spiraling. Quivers in the gut, metal in the mouth, we leaf through warning. Luminous round-mouthed whisper beneath tremulous veins and the hollows of my spine, I feel my nervous system, blue electricity barking through a body. Beloveds, here is a child to honor your mouths on these pages. To love being necessarily redefines it is. It is love to love being, being being love. Daughters live a violent vanishing, a dark spot trembling existence, artery, vein, fervent wish, broad daylight. Murmurs interior to ourselves, I hear me, distant yous shuffling about, our genes mystery, a question that separates day from night. What is a fact? Unsettled feeling disperses listening through my heart. This is an epithalamium for use. A loophole in existence traces the displaced horizon we survive beyond. As a cell reposes in the small, very small ruin of our care, opening. Sometimes I cut my hands under the fountain and give my dogs a drink. Other times my eyes stitch the occluded bower, appreciable in its details, only from an enclosed within. I look up the meaning of within. Violence is atmospheric, beads and droplets on skin, then ripples underneath. The body bewilders its heart. Breathless suddenly, nerves lighting the skull, vigilant in the impossible multitude of neurons synapses, the soul firing. As reality clutters withdrawal from form, from energy opposite to the, the night in this sentence I write, use, sing, principle resorting to drift, dreaming of investigating great love or another perspective. Thank you.